Hello, hello, everybody. I did some grinding in between poor Mustafar being annihilated, and uh, I forget if I if it was between then or now that I started grinding then, but uh, first things, uh, uh, let's quickly just show you. The all stat books, they stack. We, we can grind them, so I gave some of those to people. Uh, let's check the barracks, see what people have to say. A single event has occurred. What do you have to say? I feel ickier than usual today. Splendid. Oh, the curses I could hex up now. Disturbing. But at least you are, uh, boosted now. And, uh, through the grinding, we also have a ton of these to go through. Brother and sister, what doth I say? Ah. <sighs> Well, that was a big one. Huh? Oh, Crom! Listen. Something on your mind? Or are you just sighing for the sheer joy of it? Aww. Well, it's just... Do I... Do I seem like a princess to you? What? Uh, how's that? <sighs> Knowing Crom, he's going to say, No, you don't appear ladylike at all, because that's all he can say to any women in this world. I'm asking if I seem like a princess. Right. If you aren't, you us. <laughs> You owe us some rent for the room in the castle. Oh, hardy har. That's not what I mean, and you know it. I'm asking if you think I live up to my station. Hmm. What brought this on? When I compare myself to you and Emerin, I feel like dead weight. Well, I'm sure Emerin feels like that now, too. Ouch. Hmm? What a stupid thing to say. Hey! Well, it's the truth. You're fine just how you are, Alyssa. Give yourself a little credit. I'll see you later. What? Hey, don't give me a lazy answer and then run away. I hope you trip and break your nose, jerk face. Okay, that last bit may not have been the most princess-like. <laughs> At least that is. Oh, yeah, and I also realized Dottie has exceeds the, the 20 level limit. He is a god. He is, he is the god among us. Ah, but yes. Jumping back to this quickly, I do feel like that is definitely some sibling energy. And we also, I also managed to uh, grind Lissa and Maribel a bit, so they're kind of up there. But we still want to get them to level 20 so we can, like, seal them if we can. That is, if we can find more seals, because we have a few people who need to be bumped up. Uh, uh, but, Kellum and Donald. <coughs> Gosh, Caleb, you about near killed me just now. Where the heck did you come from? Sorry. You're planting bilberry bushes, aren't you? They're my favorite crop. You know, if you mix the soil with clover and pig dung, the berries get extra juicy. Huh. Shuck my corn. I never knew you was a farmer. Okay. Well, my father tilled the soil, but my brothers and I helped out in the fields. If you want, I could help you out too. Hi, okay. That's a mighty kind offer, Caleb. I'd surely appreciate it. I'm planting the bushes in pots so as I can move them about, but there's just so many. Folks think berry pickings a, a doddle, but they're dead wrong. <laughs> it's been a while since I mucked around in the soil. Truth is, I kind of miss it. Yeah. Well, I'm much obliged. You mind starting on them pots in the store's tent? Wow. Goodness, that's an awful lot of bilberry bushes. There must be hundreds. Yeah. Seeing then as how they're so popular, I wanted to make sure I had enough for everyone. Okay. Uh, well, guess I'd better get to work. That's adorable. That's an adorable, like, combination. Ah, Frederick and Pan. Let us see. Right. And that's quite the handsome blade you carry, Varian. Do tell. Ah, you of discerning eye, Frederick. Yes, it is rather nice, isn't it? Elegant, sophisticated, a perfect match for its owner. Why, it almost... Really? My hilt bears the sigil of House Clave. <gasps> yes, but you interrupted me. Forgive me. Apologies. But it's been troubling me for some time now. Just how is it you came to hold a dagger from one of Vilisa's high noble houses? I enjoyed a brief but fruitful collaboration with the Claves once upon a time. Well, specifically with one young and very beautiful Clave. She gave me this blade as a token of our everlasting friendship. Explain. I see. And when exactly did you find the time to foster such a bond? Ah, my dear naive Frederick, not all bonds take equal time to form, you know. Some are forged in a lifetime, while others spring to life in a moment. Others still take but one very good night. 
Oh, please, spare me the pious air. But is that yet a hint of envy I see as well? <laughs> well, permit me to explain. It is my avocation to grant noble ladies a brief respite from their dreary lives. And I know of no better way to do so than by romance's sweet perfume. But I always acted the gentleman. No harm befell their honor or reputation. Oh, that was never my concern. Elisa's noble houses are built of sturdier stuff than one dandy's escape hats can shake. Tell me, sir, uh, do you always smile so as you twist the blade in a fellow's gut? Yes, well, you wondered at the history of my blade, and now curiosity is slaked. If that's quite all, this dandy shall leave you to save your unshakable honor. Right. Avocation, he says. <laughs> quite the hobby. Yet I bet he has made many other powerful allies through such trysts. Dandy or no, the man is sly. Methinks he merits watching. And thus Frederick picked up uh, people watching. Now Pan and Virion. There is rain, but the sun shines still. Strange. It's called a sun shower, my dear lady. Quite beautiful in its own way. Please. That was not a question, man spawn. And do not speak to me without cause. And here I thought that was natural entree into civilized conversation. Ah, well, I've met many a lovely lady who built up high walls around her. And I surmounted them all. I Perhaps I will face. stuff and mount you in my warren. If it is your aim to provoke me, I accept. Let us fight and be done with it. Choose your weapon. Oh. A duel? A romantic? Then my weapon, sweet lady, shall be words. I am far better poet than I am a warrior anyway. Right. As you wish. Many your friends. graciousness, my dear, is without peer. Now by all means after you. Hmm. I know of you, you lecherous worm. Your transgressions are legend. You turned tail and left vassals to die so that you might pursue mates. The very sight of you causes bile to rise in my throat. I curse your name. Oh. Perhaps I have to, ought to have picked daggers after all. Yes. I've spoken. Take your turn, poet. <laughs> Alas, I fear I know no words with which to injure a lady. And so I admit defeat and bid farewell. Hmm, <sighs> weakling. Virion has such interesting, like, interactions with people. Here's the finish line. At last. Uh, uh. Hmm. You circumnavigated the camp ten times, and your total time was fascinating. But Muriel, uh, every day, you grow more like a demon, sent to torture me. Have you observed? Enough running now. Can I please stop? I see no harm in taking a short break. Phew. Thank goodness. So what did you learn? As you may know, I've been observing everyone's training and not just yours. And in every measure of performance, you come out at the exact median. Hmm? I do? Yes. Be it arm strength, running, stamina, or anything else, you are perfectly average. If I didn't know better, I'd say my methodology was flawed. It's something of a scientific miracle that you can be so completely unoutstanding. Yes, well, that's just the sort of man I am. Hmm? You are aware of your ordinariness? Nah. Yeah, I always tended to be more or less like everyone else. I do about the average amount of training everyone else does, but, you know, meh. Hmm. Yet it is remarkable that you are able to precisely hit every statistical mean. You must allow me to investigate further, and to do that, I need more data. Hmm? Do, do you mean... Right. Yes, your break is over. Ten more laps around the camp, please. She is a demon. That is an amusing conversation. Rickon and Pan. Oh, hey. hey, Pan. Pan? Hey, Pan. Stop. Stop shouting, you cretinous whelp. My ears are highly sensitive. Hmm? Oh, gosh, sorry. I thought you couldn't hear me. Yes. I was trying to ignore you. <sighs> Why? Didn't you realize it was me? I bet you thought I was someone else, and I have no interest in associating with you. <laughs> Uh, why not? Because I have, like, a hundred questions for you. Like, can you see in the dark? And how sharp are your claws? Oh, and what? Please. Keep pestering me and you'll learn firsthand how sharp my claws are. Hey. Look, can we be friends? If we were friends, you'd have to talk to me, right? Yeah, you would. So I'm gonna stick to you like glue. <sighs> this bizarre child appears to be utterly without fear. Very well, you may tag along with me, if you dare. <laughs> hey, you're not allowed to change into a monster! Very rude. She's not a monster. 
And now A Long Ku with Pan. And then we'll, let's see, because the first C rank with Long Ku was him finding her carrots, him calling them weeds, and trying to return them. The second one was them talking and returning the weeds. So let's see what A is. Hello, Pan. Hmm. You look cheerful. I assume this means the potion did its deed. Oh yeah, I forgot. She also made a thing to help with his nightmares. This is good. I was unsure it would work on humans. Your brew did more than cure me of my nightmares. Since I drank that drought, I've been having the most wonderful dreams. As you wish. The effect will wear off soon. Wait while I brew another mug. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Done. I'll just leave it here and back away. Nice. Right. Down the hatch. Nah. The taste does not improve with exposure. But if it means no more nightmares, I'll drink a barrel and ask for more. So. Tell me, Pan. Why do you help me? I know you've little love for humans. Good question. Well, I'd already given you the herbs. I didn't want them to go to waste. Hmm. And why did you collect them in the first place? Were they for you? Or are you also haunted by nightmares? Well, I often dream of the night man spawn raised my village and murdered my kin. Just before she died, my mother told me that I mustn't hate all humans. She said there were good men as well as wicked, and I was never to forget it. <sighs> but why did you make the potion for me? No. I told you, I didn't want the herbs to go to waste. You have a good heart. <laughs> you know nothing about me. That's sweet. The Long Ku and Pan relationship is growing on me, but I still want to see what A rank Libra is. <sighs> ah, one pot of honey and that's it. This is barely going to last three days. And I just ate my last candied fig this morning. Hmm. Gaius. Huh? Is that you, Pan? can I do for you? Please. What are you doing here? I rarely see you man spawn clambering on sheer cliffs. I was collecting hunt- uh, That is to say, I'm here on a mission. Yeah, that's right, a very important and dangerous mission. Right. Oh. I can't- I can tell you're impressed, Whiskers. Don't try to hide it. If you're thinking, Cryvens, this must be a brave and agile man to be- Your dexterity would be below average among the Tagul. And do not call me Whiskers. <sighs> below average, eh? I admit, when I saw you at a distance, I thought you might be one of my kin. Perhaps a particularly clumsy friend who managed to hide among these rocks. But it was a fool's hope. <laughs> Yikes. When you say that, I feel kind of bad for clambering around up here. No. It's all right. You did not know. Easy to... But, uh, before you go... Yes. Yes? Oh. You know a good way of getting down from here? <laughs> that is an amusing character interaction. All righty. And next we need to, uh, like, see, first off, because we have a lot of people on the cusp. So we need to see, oh yeah, and also Crom. We have to at least give it to Crom. And see how many we have. We have four left and three second seals. But I did a bit of research, just basically a Google search, and it said, generally, you want a master seal into an advanced class and then second seal if you go along. But I also read that they said, well, you're going to be changing classes a lot anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But use for Krom. Can he becomes a great lord, a seasoned leader of royal blood, wields swords and lances. Change into the great lord, Kras. Kras? Class. And join Neon as an advanced class. Get struck by lightning. And become a shiny knight with... <laughs> he has the Fire Emblem shield! That's cool! Let's see what I'm capable of now. Hell yeah, that is cool. That's so cool. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> and we could... Hmm, because let's see. I find it funny that Tharja has been thrown among... Like them, but let's see. Trickster, no. Cordelia, no. Because Vike is almost there. Gaius is there. Both Rickon and Muriel are almost there. Pan is almost there. Let's see. And Sumia is there. Donald, like... Because I also quickly looked it up and tried to avoid as many spoilers as possible, but it does seem like uh, Donald is 
caps out at level 30. So... And I want to see what the fuck he gets. Hmm. But we do have... Bah, 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 bah. We have three. God, we have so many people. Hmm. Again, we also have second seals. But I... Oh, hey, it also changed his actual map icon. We're gonna go ahead and save. And, uh, yeah, when I loaded up, a bunch of dudes spawned. So I don't know exactly which ones to do. We'll do Border Pass first, and hopefully these guys won't disappear and we can take them out one by one. But I do think that if we, like, toddle too much, they will disappear. So we'll fight these guys first. All right. I want to continue on. Let's see. Pan is at 19. Okay. I'll mo remove Chrom. Put Pan in. Hmm. We'll have Lisa, Lisa so that hopefully she can get some leveling in. We'll take Sumia out. Let's see. We'll keep Sully and Kellum in for leveling as well as Virian. Because hmm. I do want to bring Naui in. But she only has so much Dragonstone, and that wouldn't be conducive to leveling her up. We could also bring in Rickon and see what, like, a mage can level up to. But let's have Vike come in, because we could use, like, a heavy hitter warrior man. All right, view map. All right, we are surrounded on all sides. I'll probably pair... God, he has a rating of 140 already! I mean, sure, he's seven levels over, but still. Hmm. Let's see, I guess I'll pair Vike and Pan. Lissa and Donald, so they can hopefully have a decent boost of stats. Now we'll just play it by ear. Save and fight. Because I'm using one of those Master Seals on Donald. Might as well level up some relationships. Let's see. And we will put... Let's do it. How much you pay? In blood, apparently. Maybe I shouldn't have brought Lissa at all because, like, nobody is going to take damage. Everyone's too powerful. At least this will level up Pan to 20. Like, nobody's gonna take any damage. Although I think, I forget if I was recording or, like, if it was recording or if it wasn't, but I distinctly remember the one character not automatically leveling up when killing a golden guy. God, Pan is so powerful, I love her. Togwall. Togwall. Thank you. Why are you all going for her? She is already leveled up! Togwall. Especially because she earned the beast- Oh, she can go beyond level 22?! She can also go beyond level 20, you say? Seriously? What? I'm going- I Togwells, I guess, max out at a different level. Okay. Okay, sure. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you can smack him, and then we'll give the kill to Vike unless he just dies. But yeah, that, that amuses me. 
Apparently, she also goes beyond level 20. Well, at least that frees up a Master Seal for a while. Class dismissed. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, this also kind of reminds me. There's a reason that I was grinding on the Heroes of Yore uh, third DLC thing. Because... The friggity friggin' bastarding thing. Will somebody take damage already? The only way that I was able to really power level Lissa and Maribel was because on the Heroes of Your level, I was able to get Frederick into the perfect spot that one of the mages like, wouldn't target anybody else and would only target Frederick, and then I had Lissa and Bob, 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 Maribel constantly healing healing him uh, over and over and over again. Oh, he actually took damage. Damn it. You go up there and you grab that. Snuck in a bit of training. Weapon training, but still. Get over here and kill this guy, I guess. Yeah, you kill him. Be gone. <laughs> like, maybe this will open him up to some damage. Virian probably has the least like stuff so maybe this will be good yeah we'll, we'll just end here hit Varian hit him very hard and now we, maybe we can power level Lissa just a bit I should have brought an extra heal instead of mint because mint is powerful I guess while they're doing that, we'll send Vike over there. Let's see, is there anything else? Nope. And we'll just send him down here to maybe do stuff. We're not. Hmm. And you can go ahead and kill him. And then the one guy will just hit Virion over and over again. As we try to power level Lissa a bit. Am I not a thing of beauty? And also it levels him up a bit, which is nice. <laughs> I'm very lucky that the game has decided that... Like... He should be hitting those 46s a lot. Go ahead and grab that. He just did 10 sit-ups and didn't even break a sweat. Considering that this is Fantasy World, I don't think that that is, like, that big of a accomplishment, really. And the funny thing is, I forget if I mentioned it, but I went and, like, power-leveled Maribel and Lissa so hard against that one magic user, they broke their magic book before they actually, like, did anything, which is hilarious to me. And I just realized, Virian is our only archer. Where are all the archers? Where are all the archers? No, we're not going to put him there, because then he'll start missing. Or worse, counterattacking. One of these days, Kellum is going to strike back. And that'll be the worst. I know it's a little bit boring to watch me do this, but I'm sorry. This is this is the most efficient thing that I've ran into when it comes to trying to heal. Let's see what breaks first. Level 17 or that guy and his axe.
Because I don't think it matters how much you heal. All that matters is that you heal. And now that we're using Mend, we're actually getting more experience. Neat. I just realized, one thing I could do... Hmm. At least for this segment. At least for this segment, we will turn off combat animations. While we just do this thing over and over. Of course you guard. It goes slightly faster. <laughs> slightly, it goes definitely faster. But then, like, once we get back into actual combat, we will turn combat animations back on. Or, like, at least, uh, once we decide to kill this guy. Apparently that, that Risen is protesting my actions by missing. Does missing use up your, like, weapon durability, I wonder? But since it's going faster, we might go to level 18. But yeah, I know that, like, because I think I read, like, on one, like, ooh, these are some tips for you. One of them is, like, turn off combat animations. It's like, why? That's where all the personality is. That's where, like, a bunch of work went into. A lot of people did a lot of work. Making, like, the 3D models and the 3D model fight animations. And I, it, and plus it, like, draws out the battle a bit, which heightens the tension. Especially when it, like, slows down and you see, like, the enemy come to crit you and you're like, No! And again, like, th that moment that I had, uh in the Champions of Yore 3, where I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna beat this uh, magician. Then I look down and it does how much damage? Like, you don't get those moments without combat animations. Because it goes by too quickly. Yeah, I think we grinded a bit enough. Although we could keep going and then Master Seal Lissa, just to see what she can do. Also, that axe is just gonna keep going, huh? A little bit more. There's more efficient grinding to be had elsewhere, but we are in the a nice situation. We are in a nice situation. Where at least we have the opportunity. And Virian is protesting my actions, apparently. Virian and Kellum. If I wanted, I could probably just separate the two. So that it would lower his overall stats. Like, I know I'm using a men's, but we can buy men's now. Oh, my bad. For some reason, I'm just so used to skipping. Like, I know this is boring, but it's a grinding possibility. And usually either my healers die or never get to be used. So this is perfect. And being able to master seal Lissa would be cool. So we could see what else she can become. Maybe Lissa could become a war cleric. And I think that would be hilarious to see her lugging around an axe like Libra does. And technically, we could grind out to level 20 in only four rounds if uh, Varian decides to get hit. And because I was only using heals instead of men's, the Frederick grinding method took a longer time. Because I was a fool and didn't realize that, like, at least for stabs... Overall heal experience comes from the staff that you use. Which is cool. Varian, stop dodging. He's like, no, I don't want to get hurt. I set you up with Sully. You take damage right now, young man. I don't even know how old you are. Maybe you're actually 15. And this is just fucked up anime world. Oh, 
Once again, I'm terribly sorry, but it's a prime opportunity! So few times have I gotten to level up my, my mage or like my clerics. But this is just the perfect opportunity. Especially after I turned off the fight animations. God, imagine how long I would be here for if I didn't turn off the fight animations. Now the real question is, who should get the final hit on him? Probably Vake. Vake? I keep forgetting what his name is. Quit guarding him, Kellum. We are here to watch him bleed. One more, I think. Maybe two. Varian, goddammit! Get hit right now! <laughs> Varian, this is your commander! Fucking get hit by an axe to the face! And Varian's like, no! Somebody help me! And Kellum just steps in occasionally to block a hit. Max! Huzzah! And we will set you here and... Schmiggity schmack. Is that an animation of a Tagal leveling up, or like, or not leveling up, but uh, getting a hit in, or like, no, transforming. My brain is melting. I apologize. But first things first, uh, options. Uh, on. That's interesting. You can turn off fight animation for units that aren't yours. But support with Varian, because we healed him a bunch. There, all set. Now fly straight and true, my love. Huh? Varian? My oh, horrors! I fear you've caught me in the act. In the act of what exactly? Groping pigeons? No. <laughs> oh, my dear lady, no. Well, not today at any rate. What? So then what? Do tell. I have commended a letter to this bird's fair wing. Oh, it's a carrier pigeon, but wait. Why would you care if I saw that? Well, I'm something of a guest here, before being foreign as I am. Protocol demands leave from a commander before carrying on any correspondence. You mean Krom? I seriously doubt he'd mind you sending a few letters. No. Oh, I'm sure you're right, but not everyone shares your brother's broad-mindedness. There are some around the camp who still don't fully trust me. So why not get Krom's permission? If you're open about it, no one will have any cause for suspicion, uh, right? Here, I'll go ask him myself. Lisa, wait! I don't... You shouldn't! Oh dear. This won't end well. <laughs> that is amusing. She actually got... <laughs> Virian to feel weird. Pen! You got a sec? Stop. Leave me be, human. Nope, sorry, can't do it. We need to talk about your battle strategy. I don't like you running off and fighting the enemy on your own. Hmm. If you desire the glory of the kill, you will need to move faster. This ain't about glory. When you charge ahead like that, it puts us all in danger. We can't keep up, and then our formations start to break down. Stop. I'll not be told when and where to fight by ignorant man spawn. If my fighting style troubles you, you should look the other way. Hey. Uh, not likely. Even if I wanted to, you're always in the thick of the action. Stop. Man spawn usually find it easy to ignore the existence of a t tog wall. Uh. Ha! Like you beasts are any better. You wish us. All us humans would up and vanish, and you don't mind saying so. Please. Why, you? Ah, hey. oh, don't try to deny it. We both know it's true. Enough. If you wish me to follow like an obedient whelp, I shall oblige. It would prove amusing watching you blunder around the vanguard. Well, that could have gone better. I feel sorry for Pan. All of her interactions are built around just pain and misery. Oh, yeah, but somebody... Somebody... Because let's see now. We have Lissa. Vike is almost there. Krom did that. Da, da, da. Pan is uh, still leveling up, which amuses me. It's like there's so many people that I want to save my stuff for. But yes, uh, let us see about Lissa. What can you become with the power of a Master Seal? War Cleric or Sage? Ooh. Which one? Because we already have a war cleric, but Sage might lean better into her, like... Ooh, we could actually probably see if we go to full. Let's see. Yeah, Sage is more magic, but 
she gains just a bit more, like, tankiness if she becomes a war cleric. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Sage is actually pretty interesting because that would, like, double down on her, like, I guess kind of make her a glass cannon to a degree. I'm just trying to think. Because she is kind of meant to be to the side, and being a sage would mean that she would also, like, maybe be best for, like, uh, being in the back a bit. Hmm. I think... I think making her a sage might be for the best. Because it'll double down on her, like, her magic, which should maybe help her, like, mending and stuff. But, yeah, sage, I say. Level up, dear Lissa. And enter the battle. Bet. Not, not exactly what I expected. In terms of outfits. But sure. She lost her resistance. Huh. Ta-da! Do I look good or do I look great? Interesting. She actually kind of looked like Imarin in that. Alright. Now I guess I'll bring Maribel along in the future. We could probably give her an extra mend. First things first, throw that in. And uh, let's see. Do we have more mend? We do have more mend. And we should buy more mend. We shall save. Let's see, where did they sell mends? Ah, they were selling a mend here. I carry only the finest. I carry only the finest. Since we have the money to buy things. Now let's see. I say that we should fight here because I think this might be good. Alright. Now... We need to decide. Hmm. Like, Pan apparently is doing super good. But considering that she's far away from... Or we could put in Libra. Hmm. Take Lissa out. And yeah, put Libra in. I'll keep going with Donald because... Like I said, I looked it up, and he's close to getting to level 30. So we'll keep him, and then if Vike levels up to level 20, we can at least take him out. And uh, as I scramble to look for more Master Seals. Because, <laughs> God, there's so many people that I want to, like, do stuff with. Meh. Let's see. Uh, my, uh, we'll keep Virian, because I think this is the... Hibbity bibbity flying people. We'll take Pan out. Oh, I forgot. We're gonna pair him with Libra to level up their like stuff, and I guess level up Libra as a stuff. Yeah. Hmm. I want to level up Kellum some. So yeah, I think we'll go with this view map. Let's see. We will. Let's see. I guess, uh, yeah, these two can pair up, you can pair up, and then I guess that leaves Donnie and you. All right. We will save, and we shall go. And then maybe in the next thing I'll start power leveling Maribel. Let's come up here. Wait. What's this? Oh, Naga be praised. Erica's blade. I think I kicked her ass like five million times. Just a bit ago. And I'll put him here, just because I can. Let's see. And since I doubt these guys are going to be super scary... I'll go ahead and move people up. are going to be annihilated. You're being annihilated by a bronze lance that would have done 60 damage to you total if you let it happen. <coughs> Excuse me.
Let's see. If we came here, swept, we'll annihilate him. Then I think what we'll do is we will do this. Darn. Because I'm trying to think of, like, how to pair them together so that they, like, more affinities can be built. But it does not look like I have much... Well, wait, no. Because we can kill him. Yeah, this will be good. Ah, darn it, I messed up. Oh, well. My brain was too fast, too furious. Sorry, Virion. Smack this man, this lady, with an axe. With this man lady. With a crit. Jesus. And they'll level up for you. Very good. Many thanks, so oh great ones. I wonder if advanced classes have advanced classes. Because he can attack and do one damage. Sure. Never mind, she kills stole. Fight Vike. Fight him. Good, yes. Maybe Varian will get the kill on Nosferatu. Why is the dark magic thing called Nosferatu? No, you're going for the wrong one. Maybe you'll survive with one HP. Or maybe <laughs> Kellum will miss. God damn it, Sully. Wow. This is supposed to be Vike's training mission. <laughs> Everyone is going to suicide upon Donald for some reason. Is it because he has Varian with him? Why? I'm dying. And this time actually swap, blast him. Get double sniped with a jump. Oh. And smack this one in the face. Huh. Big on. And you gotta steal Lance. I guess send Erica's blade away. Yeah, we're not gonna let you kill Steel anymore. Now it's time for Vike to get some kill stealing in. You probably won't even level him up. Yeah, I rule. Damn it. My lord. My lord. And we shall come down here and also fight you. I forgot to look. Well, we can also do like. I'm talking about what they're called down here. Yeah. Sully and kill him. Hey. Kill him. Kill him. Okay. Yes. Oh, there you are. Yep. Looks like I was right. You did injure your arm. What? Oh gosh. Did you notice? I didn't think anyone. Of course I noticed. You tiny idiot. You got hurt trying to protect me again. Didn't I tell you the other day I didn't need your damn help? But that guy was about to cut your head off. I just can't stand by and watch friends be cut down. It's not my nature. Oh, and aren't we gallant? Pfft, I had that guy in the bag. And besides, it doesn't do any good if you get killed in someone else's place. Sorry. You're probably right. You all right? Now give me your arm and let me take a gander at this wound. <clears throat> oh, it's all right, really. Barely a scratch, in fact. Nah. Well, you're griping and get over here so I can put a damn bandage on. Thank you. Right away, ma'am. What a fool. Probably leap into the noose if I hung myself, huh? <laughs> I wager I would. And here I thought you were a meek little mouse. When it comes to looking after folk, you're as stubborn as a damn ox. How oh, sweet. And Libra and Pan A. <clears throat> Pan, I just had a word with Krom. I hear you were involved in an altercation with some of the other soldiers. I don't see how that's your concern. No. Isn't it, though? The next time you find yourself in a situation like this, please, let me know. You needn't sully your hands for my sake. I can express my own displeasure. Oh. You heard, then? Yes. Indeed. A little bird told me the cause of your scuffle. 
Apparently you intervened when someone began telling off-color jokes about me. Hmm, perhaps I was just in the mood to hit someone that day. You always insist on hiding your kindness and denying your compassion. I would dearly love to see you embrace these traits more openly. Stop. I didn't ask for your opinion. Speaking with you made me feel better, and hearing those soldiers angered me. That is all. Now we're even. Bless you. You amaze me, Pan. The light within you shines so brilliantly, never losing its purity of character or allowing the world to dim its luster. I thank the gods and the exult for granting me the chance to bask within its glow. <sighs> You're mad and a terrible flatterer. Yes. Apologies. Have I embarrassed you? <laughs> I like them! I like them! I am going to pair them together. Because Long Ku and Pan is kind of nice, but that, that one, that one won the day. Libra, you are a fantastic motherfucker. I like it. Now, let's see. Uh, we're obviously gonna... Since that's done, we're gonna take these two out. Vike still needs to level up. These two need to still level up, as well as pair off to other people. Let's see. Uh, Rickon! Let's... Hmm. I need more Master Seals! Damn it! Ah! Hmm... Who do I want to throw in? I guess but Frederick wouldn't get much experience from this, but maybe I could pair him. Idea. Uh, ba -ba -ba, Maribel, Maribel, Maribel. All right. Uh, kind of plan is we'll have... Hmm, there isn't really a place where we can really bottle up, but we'll put Varian on the front line, pair him with Frederick, and uh, see what happens. All right, view map, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. I'll have Virian be here and uh, hopefully we can do stuff. Let's see. And I guess I would pair these two up. Yeah. Fight. with you so that he can less likely to die pair you up you can grab that teach worked in a little practice not that it's needed and swap well it doesn't really matter so Ta da Damn it, I forgot to put Varian in control. So everybody's gonna die to Frederick. Oh, there, there's no god that will help them. You died to beefy sparkles. Ah, good, he'll be shot at. Good. So, okay. Maybe we'll be in good healing times. Because nobody else is going to take any fucking damage. The problem is... Hmm. Okay, idea. Okay, now that he is max level, we don't need to worry too much. But I think what I'll do is I will place somebody to guard the side here so that Maribel can hopefully eternally heal Frederick, potentially. Let's see. You can... Because we want you to do more. And now we'll send Donnie up to do some killing. Donnie is here to murder. And uh, that'll be it. The enemies will kill themselves. Somehow that's no damage. Low, la low chance to hit. And five damage. And we'll do zero damage. 
Darn, I thought I had a chance to do damage that one. Hmm. Okay, you go ahead and poke this man to death and take his money. Why do the Risen even have money? Are they sent from the future with money? Because again, obviously, Lucina is the Krom's daughter and they came from a giant fuck-off portal. Hmm. I think this will be good. We'll end here. In fact, maybe I should turn off battle diddly -dees. It'll go fast, probably. And then we'll quickly... Da -da -da -da. Options. Turn off. Because I want to see if I can get some in, but it doesn't look like it. Good. One damage. And everything else is misses and no damage. We can move to the side so that Maribel can do some magic. An inefficient way of doing it, but again... The opportunity doesn't come often. Oh, damn it. That guy's trying to... Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Oh, well. If these guys get any bright ideas and actually attack Maribel, then we'll start annihilating them. Let's see. Does one damage. I don't... <laughs> the healer took one damage. Now this is where it would have been nice to have both Lisa and Maribel. Ah, so if you they guard for each other, it counts as a thing. Nice. The most efficient way to grind, obviously. Fine, let's see. Need to have nah, either one. Let's go for Lance, kill him. And we'll end. <laughs> and it allows them to get some experience. Good job, Gregor. What is this? Gregor's biceps tingling. And you got an iron lance. A nice triple. So everyone can just suicide upon Sully. And we'll quickly swap in. But the problem is then the mage might go after him, but it's been so subtle. If the mage is stupid enough to attack Virian, fine, so be it. <laughs> if the mage is dumb enough to attack Virian and thus die, it's his own prerogative. You are a moron. What? Oh, never mind. That might work. Maybe. Unless it has li a literal zero chance to hit. It says that damage forecast says it should be able to hit, so... Sure, why not? Then we'll place them there, so that if it targets Lissa, it, or Maribel, all the healers are the same! We'll get to level 15 if possible, unless it drags on. And my mend broke. Never mind. Oh, that was because we are using the, the already, yeah, kind of broken mend. I was like, oh, but I thought I was using a good mend. I'm just kind of funny that Frederick hasn't done anything to that mage by now. He's just like, this mage has been attacking my charge for a while. I wonder if I should do something. 
And you're just standing there as the mage keeps blasting Virian with magic. Well, I did say I would keep an eye on him. Just keeps on going. Yes, mage. Hit him all that you want so that we can get to level 15. It's not even a, a, a master seal. It's just here. I wonder why it defaults to Donnie so much. I wonder why it's defaulting to Donnie. I wonder what is in its mind. Is it telling me something? Is it telling me that I should go send Donnie to attack? Hmm. I'm just wondering, where are the sparkles here? There's only one sparkles on this map. Well, we already got some levels, so we might as well give it a shot. If it does something crazy, oh well. You'll be annihilated, magic man. Why would you do that? Okay. Being weird, I just came over here to grab this. We'll let this crab line around. Why are you going after them so much? The moment they ran away, he's like, I'm going to go and hunt them instead of the helpless archer. You are a weird magician, man. And now they're just going to come back. Who are you going to attack now? What is, what is telling the magician to do that? I wonder... They're running away. It's because they weren't par paired up, I guess. Like, why attack the archer that can't fight back? Because it must be a stat thing. Where when Sully is where she is, she has all this stat bonuses. That I guess it's like, ah. I. But then again, that doesn't make total sense. Because the magician could be attacking Maribel right now. But it isn't. It's attacking Virion. What is with the programming, I wonder? And I do believe that that will level Maribel up to level 15. Good, good. Now kill. Modern problems require modern solutions. <laughs> Gregor and Sully alone. Hello, Gregor. Oh, for the love of... Hello, Sir Gregor. Oh, yeah. oh, hello, Sully. Gregor, not seeing you there. I want another duel of you. A serious one. No holds barred. I've been training hard since our last skirmish, and I think I'm ready. Training hard? is sounding like bad news for Gregor. We spent so much time arguing over terms the other day that I lost the damn fight. Then you were supposed to come up with a humiliating punishment, but you didn't. Just making you, me call you sir isn't enough motivation. I need more. So come on, get off your butt and duel me for your very honor. Good grief. Boy, we are having place to ourselves, yes? Why speak of fighting and honor? Gregor thinks this is a good time to whisper sweet nothing into ears. But if talking with swords is better, okay. Guess of steel is also a sweet sound to Gregor. But when you lose, Gregor make you do very, very, very humiliating something. Where should I stab you? Kind of interesting. Not the super duper mostest, but still. Then I do believe that there isn't, like, any available paralogues, so... Uh, first things first, we should probably go over our inventories put things away got a lot of bullion we'll put the hmm I guess we'll put that away actually we'll also grab like an iron sword for you yeah, he has a steel backup she has mend ready he's doing good Everything seems good. Steel Lance. Should I do it? The problem is I have so many, but so few. Meh. So few Master Seals. 
All right. Either way, I think I'm ready to go. Let's jump in and see what this chapter has to hold. Chapter 11, Mad King Gangrel. Are we going to kill him in Chapter 11? That would be quick. The enemy has taken the field, my lord. Back already. <laughs> it feels as though we just said our goodbyes. Our scouts report they are in surprisingly good spirits. Since when do you trust our scouts? Besides, what does it matter? They're armed like beggars compared to us. I could break their ranks as easily as I break wind. I'd love to hear the song of the bards make of that. A verse of there is truth about the world this Elysian whelp must learn. A man is either strong or he is dead. <laughs> Your Highness, a dire news! Oh, speak. Our troops are lo laying down their weapons and deserting in mass. Please, sire, I am but a messenger. Have mercy. <laughs> That's hilarious. My lord. My lord, I have report from Con Flavia. The Plegian army is in disarray. What? How do you mean? Right. It seems many of their soldiers are opposed to further violence. There has been infighting, desertion. Gangrel is trying to stamp out the mutiny by force, but with little success. Outside of a few faithful who serve him directly, his army has all but collapsed. <coughs> this is incredible news, but why? Emeryn. Ah. Yes, my lord, Emeryn. The report says Gangrel's men chant her name as they abandon the field. Her words and her sacrifice have made her a folk hero of sorts. Sister. Emeryn, why did it take me so long to understand? She believed all people desire peace. She knew deep down the Plegians wanted it too. It just took her to bring it to the surface. Right. I hope she can see this, wherever she is. Today we put an end to Mad King Gangrel. And bring peace back to the land. Now we need to select units. Let's see. Sumia, no, definitely not. I'll bring me. Uh, Vike, no. Maybe Pan, Libra? Yeah, we'll bring Pan and Libra. Uh, I don't really think we're going to have much need for healing, so sorry. But then again, you can now do stuff. You can attack, but we need to give you a weapon. Hmm. I'll bring Frederick. Hmm. So maybe. Let's see. Is there. Huh. I'll bring Nawi and pair her with Frederick. So Frederick can be like the bulk. And if there's anybody he can. Like, Nawi can pick off. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Then we'll bring Stall. Let's see. Maybe Tharja. Level her up. We have one more. Longku. We'll bring Longku. First things first, save before we do crazy. Now let's see. Inventory. Is there anything super good? He has a rapier and killing edge. He has a decent set of lances. Yeah, we should bring Varian just because we need to level him up some more. We can pair him with Sully. Basically, everyone here is for, like, leveling and stuff. I think everything's good. I think everything's good. Oh, well, let's... First things first, we should view the battlefield. Huh. A bunch of chests. So we should probably actually bring, like, Gaius. No, can't bring Gaius because stuff. But this feels like there's going to be stuff over here. Like, reinforcements, maybe? But first we need to... I guess... to be replaced the most. I guess... Sorry, Kellum. We will replace you with Anna so she can level up and grab those chests for us. Ah, but once again, let's quickly go over. Is there anybody who's named? A Plegian. He has a hero! We need to kill this guy. 
That guy needs to die. And spirit dust? What's spirit dust? Permanently increases magic. Neat. Ruffian, thief, but he doesn't carry anything. Weapon riders. Gangrel has a dragon stone and a leaven sword. And they're all dropped. Hmm. So actually, hmm. Will pair Anna, who has like the most movement overall? Well, first things first, like, yeah, so that the horses can like try to. Hmm. I'm just worried because I want these. What's in these chests? That's what I really want. I want what's in those chests. And uh, hopefully the game isn't going to be mean and have like people. Hmm. But at the same time, Anna actually has decent movement herself. Yeah. So yeah, we will have Noe go with Anna, and then Anna will charge down to grab these chests on her own while everybody else does things. And I just know that there's going to be something that's going to happen here. But I think everything should be good. Very well. Fight! What's this? Good day, my little princeling. Still dreaming of your squashed sister. Think again. No more talk, Gangrel. Today you die and peace returns to Elise and Plegia. <laughs> pa! Such hypocrisy. You despise me, wretch. You want to cut me down. You don't know the first thing about peace. No man does! I know more than you ever will. <clears throat> more than me? More than me? <laughs> you are me! When life asks you a question, you answer with blood! Right. Maybe you're right. I'll never be my sister. I cannot forgive men like you, men who sow nothing but evil. All I have left are her words and her memory. Were I alone, I might be driven to madness or worse. But I'm not alone. My friends and brothers in arms stand behind me. Are you done? May I vomit now? <laughs> what a flowery harangue. Men are beasts, nothing more. We fight, we kill, we devour our prey. Beasts do not stand behind beasts, little prince. They use each other so long as it suits their own selfish purpose. Perhaps this explains why your own soldiers refuse to stand behind you. You're a poison, a festering wound. And I will do what my sister could not. Such a clever tongue you have, little prince. It'll look quite fetching hanging on my mantle, next to your sister's corpse! Oh yeah! I'll do my, my lord, may I have... My lord, I have come. Am I too late? I don't claim my dance as anything special, but Con Basileo says it renews the spirit. Yeah, what does a dancer do? Route the enemy. Dancers allow a unit to act twice in a single turn. Move unit next to a unit who has already completed his or her action this turn, then select dance. So that's like an advanced maneuver. Let's see. I guess I'll pair her with Frederick. All right. Let's get close to the battlefield. For some reason, I completely missed everything. I'm a fool. Let's move forward. Hmm. I wonder what...
why the ruffian was moving like that. <clears throat> yes, draw closer. Let them charge at me with their rage. More of my soldiers shall greet them at every foolish step. And the sparkles are just out of reach. Well, actually, she can grab them, because she goes fast. Who knew you could meet suppliers in a place like this? Dang, I'm good. Suppliers of experience, I guess. And I'll put on my thunder to fight any mages that come my way. Oh, I forgot to turn on animations again. I'm a fool. Well, goodbye, stall. Damn mages. Oh, was, did he get a crit right there? I wonder if he's aiming for that other chest. Oh, large fools. That's not good. Tear down these enemies. This is a cool area. Thank you. Poor Stall got nuked by a bunch of mages. Strike down this mage. all these plugins that standing beside him is a fool's errand. Hmm, wouldn't even kill him. Hmm. Although I could maybe... Because it's mostly that one chest guy. Yeah, hmm. Frederick is basically invincible. So what if I send him over here to, like, tank a bunch of damage from all these guys and, like... Because that ruffian is planning something. This guy's planning something. I don't like it, so... Eh, fuck it. Go over here and smash. Good job, Olivia. Get rid of this guy, he's high level. Thanks. He's like a war mage. Booyah. I got the spirit dust. So I'll send that away. Smack this guy down. And you missed, you fool. Have a horse jump at you. Hmm. One thing I should probably do is come down here, activate that just so that we can, like, be aware of where things are. Smack this guy. Yeah, the mages honestly scare me some of the most, so we're going to come down and stab one. And if they try to attack, now we might be able to help, maybe. No damage. Haha. <laughs> ha The power of a merchant. The merchant of death. Oh, 
Oh no, he might do a little bit of damage. Get luna fool. Good job, Olivia. Are you gonna die, Gregor? I think Gregor might die today, too. You do no damage, but now you die. And a level up for Frederick. A part of me says that I should have brought, like, Maribel or something, but... I just know that even if I had, she would have been focused and annihilated. And I'll just, like, not use Olivia at all, because she probably also would get nuked. Bye, Gregor. If one more guy comes and hits you, you're dead. Everyone keeps going there. Oh, hey, it's the hero. Good job, Olivia. And sadly, you do no damage, Olivia. It's kind of rude to send in somebody who, like, well, I guess not that terrible, but still, it's slightly amusing. Get Luna to fool. It does no damage. And that's why we paired her with him. So that they have a bit of, ex a bit of aid. You throw an axe. And how dare you hit. Please, miss. God damn it. We need you alive for shit. I think now he has a vulnerary we could give you. Smack this hero down, because I want my dude, Frederick, to go defend a thing. And a level up for Pan. I wonder what the Togwell, like, class. And if you try and do anything, you will be annihilated. We'll go ahead and annihilate you. Goodbye. I am legend. I've never watched that movie. How about a steel sword to the face? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. And smack this guy down. You, you can't even hit people with thunder and lightning. Hell thunder. L lightning. Hmm, the problem is, we'll put you here. Ah, you can heal. So I guess come here and heal him as well. A large bullion. Luckily, Frederick's in perfect position to kill this thief. Whenever I see a thief now wandering the battlefield, I immediately go, I am going to have to kill him. Frederick is our tank right now. 
He is here to annihilate one side of the field. Single-handedly. He is being taken apart bit by bit. Poor guy. I might have to divert Libra down to heal him quickly. Oh fuck, Gangrel's now on the move. They specifically f fucking went out of the way to save this guy, huh? Well, first things first. Staff. Mend him. Back to 100%. We're gonna come for you, large bully on thief. <laughs> and this is a route the enemy map, right? Yep, route the enemy. We'll nuke this guy from afar. Ah. <laughs> Lanku decides, I want to kill this guy. Many thanks. We'll come here so that we can open this. And get a goddess icon. Might not be able to help much. Blast him with magic. Get out of here. Nicely done. We'll switch to him because he has the most stats. Goodbye, Gregor. I think you're dead. Clinging to each other won't save you, maggots, when the boot falls. Oh, that's scary. Jesus. He is a boss, I guess. A level 5 boss. You picked the wrong person to fight, I think. Get axed. At least this will be a nice... Training session for Libra here. And even Pan can get some hits in. Level weapon 8, huzzah! You couldn't even hit with the most damage you could do. Why is everyone going for Libra all of a sudden? He just keeps dodging. Again, it would be terrifying if the enemy could pair up. Be gone. Many thanks, O oh great ones. Rally luck. Neat. actually gonna have Pan take over. Because that way, all the beasts will come to her, hopefully, and uh, be annihilated. Give me that large bully on, asshole. We'll come down here and smite you. Luna! Now I know why that became like an iconic line from this game, because he says it all the time. 
time. <laughs> Once he gets Luna, it's like, pick a god and pray. Pick a god and pray. Pick a god and pray. Oh, he doesn't get a skill at level 10? I've been shotted. Let's see, uh... Come here, and then switch. Blast him with some magic. This dragon doesn't scare of you. You only did three damage. You know what? Crom, Falcon, this man to death. Come, princeling! I've sharpened my sword just for you! Now I'm angry. My sister wished for our people to know peace, Gangrel. But as long as you draw breath, it can never come. For Elise! Oh, get crit! Fool of a prince. Your people cannot for you. You are alone. As every man lives and dies. Alone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think this is commentary for Crom's Krom fight against Gangrel. We will send the, honestly, the, the rapier. And then maybe we can send some stuff out. You miss, and now you die. Right. Olivia, you have done nothing. Ah, but level A. And broke. Hi, Verizon. You're gonna die. If only they could actually hit something. Shoot this guy out of the air. Huzzah. see. Just too far away, so we'll place him there. And he can grab this. I've noticed you've been working hard, trying to fulfill some lifelong dream. I just want to be the best dancer around, if I can get over my stage fright first. You are fighting on a battlefield. We'll move ahead a bit. Blast him with some magic. Magic dragon power! Get hit by magic meteors. Yeah. Adorable. And I forgot to give them things. Let's see. Trade with Neon. We will give you... Instead of an Iron Sword, the Lovin' Sword, maybe. Yeah, because it's magical. Do it. And we'll swap just in case. I forgot to put uh, me in place. You have picked a bad person to fight. Get Luna, idiot. A, a crit Luna! You are dead. Then again, a crit usually b b denotes death, but still hilarious. And now he has an Armor Slayer sword. Have you chosen death? It looks like you have. Now get drop kicked. I 
flying a speed wing. And now he gets to come up and blast. Nice leap. Still gonna die. You can see the look on his sprite's face in the bottom screen. Fear. Sire. Sire, the remaining Plegian forces are surrendering in mass. Good. Surrendering in mass. Order our forces to cease fighting at once. Sire. Yes, Sire. Now what? Is that the end of the game? Only 20 hours? <laughs> I doubt. Where's the... Because uh, the, the dark wizard man who met the, the dragon Grima. The fact that I came from the future. That whole ending sequence that's supposed to be like a premonition thing. And then it's finished. Once their messenger delivers our terms, that's it. We put an end to this bloody business once and for all. <sighs> We've won. Somehow I don't feel like celebrating. Victory can be bitter as well as sweet, boy. It's good you learn that now. Ragnar Ferox lost many good soldiers today. We need to see to our dead. Then it's time to attend to the living and rebuild our army. Forgive me. I'm sorry, Flavia. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Elise will compensate your nation in whatever fashion... Please. Oh, in that case, how about you hand over a, a, the fire emblem and we'll call it even. <laughs> Just a little for Oxy humor. Don't worry about our finances, Krom. Reparations will fall to Plegia, and I've seen that treasury. They can well afford it. Oh, yes, boy. pity the man who stands between Flavia and a full coffer boy. <laughs> I'll have to remember that when you come to visit Listol. And now he takes to the big tower. And made confetti. And so the war between Elise and Plegia was ended. Prince Krom and Neon worked tirelessly to restore Elise's splendor. This would be no easy task, for the war had taken a heavy toll on the Halidom. But with the Feroxy muscle and Plegian gold, they brought peace back to the people. All the while, the prince forswore the title of Exalt out of respect to his late sister. Even so, his subjects grew eager for their new ruler to take a wife. And in his heart, Krom had always known who that woman would be. The royal wedding was a joyous occasion, attended by thousands from near and far. Finally, it seemed that the last lingering wound of Elisa's history had healed. But then, two years later... It's the two-year time skip. And obviously he married me, the Avatar, but still... I, it's kind of odd that it just says that it happened. <laughs> Sire. Sire, a messenger from Regna Ferox. Good. See the men at once. Yes, sir. Yes, my lord. Who would be? Oh, you! Your Grace. Prince Krom, I come on behalf of Con Regnant Flavia. Reg. Reg. Yeah, Regnant. Flavia? Well, this is a surprise. Is something amiss? I fear so, my lord. The Khan requests your presence at a summit as soon as you're able. Really? What's happened? Yes, Our western neighbors of Valm are no longer acting so neighborly. The emperor, who they named the Conqueror, has launched warships against us. What? An invasion? Are you certain of this? Forgive me. Yes, my lord. The Khan hopes to meet with you in Ferox, if it please you. My lord. What do you make of this, sire? Right. Ill business, to be sure. Raimi, we will meet with Flavia at once. Krom. Krom. Forgive me. I know what you're thinking, Neon. We owe Regna Ferox a great debt. I must apprise myself of the facts there before deciding on a course of action. Yeah. Nope, not what I was thinking. I was actually going to suggest we discuss strategy as we travel. <laughs> Come on, Krom, you would really think. Eh? But, but Lucina's newly born. She needs her mother now. You told me House Elise is a tradition of wet nursing, and you and Lissa turned out rather well from what I, where I stand. And th this is Lucina with the fucked up eye. 
Lucina is a strong child. She takes after her father. The brand in her left eye proves it. Oh, so it's just... Oh, yeah, because doesn't, like... Yeah, like, Imran had, like, something on her forehead, and Krom has that, like... I thought it was a tattoo, but no, apparently it's just a magic symbol of the exalt, I guess. Still. I'm not just worried about her. I'd worry about you as well. All, right. All the more reason to keep me close at hand, no? Together we can be more than we can alone, remember? Ah, uh, let her come, Krom. You can use her strategic thinking anyway. <sighs> All right, Neon, just promise to stay safe. Lissa and I had M, of course, but we lost our parents when we were young. I want Lucina to grow up with her whole family around her. Yeah. As do I. You have my word. How adorable. I will ride ahead and assemble an escort, my lord. Make sure all pebbles and rocks are out of the way. Mm. Thank you, Frederick. Whoa. I'm quite impressed, Krom. You make a fine ruler. You've come a long way from tending sheep. <laughs> Have I truly changed so much? Mm, in a way, you haven't. But you've grown as a leader, and of course, as a father. Right. I'm trying to do my best. My sister left a weighty legacy. I do all I can just to live up to it. The steps almost sounded like a mu like like music, like a beat. What now, dear Con? I apologize, it could not come sooner, Flavia. Hey. What matters is your. What matters is you are here, Crom. Is it true Valmy's warships have set sail? What can you tell us? <sighs> not much more than that, I'm afraid. The details remain hazy. Just a moment. Oh, where are you, you big bald? Crom is here. Ah, well met, boy. I knew you'd come. We have something you should hear. Someone you should hear from. I believe you've met. He claims to be have insight into Valm's intentions. And who be he? Is it Marth again? Virian? Greetings. Good day, lords and ladies. How fare you all? Allow me the great pleasure and indeed honor of introducing myself. What? We all know who you are, Virian. Although I don't believe we've met your companion. Oh. <laughs> you know nothing. Prepare for my great unmasking. Long have I posed as archest of archers, yet that was but a ruse. Yea, an artifice to disguise myself as a mere above average man. In truth, I am. <clears throat> May I present Duke Virian? I'm his humble servant. Cherch? Cherch. Greetings, sire. Greetings, sire. You, honor you honor us with your presence. Cherch, you stole my moment. Listen. A pleasure, Cherch. Perhaps you could speak on your master's behalf. Well, that may speed things along, yes? Good. Then please, time is of the essence. <sighs> Very well, then. First concerning our origins, we hail from Roseanne, a fertile territory on the continent of Alm. My lord is the head of House Virian, and the rightful ruler of Roseanne. Mm -hmm. A fact he often reminds us of, and loudly. Ha! Ah, is she not a true wit? She gets it all from me, you know. So what brings a noble in his charge all the way across the long sea? The Valmis. Theirs was an unremarkable nation once. Tiny, almost pitifully so. Had our continent not shared its name, you might almost have forgotten it existed. And so Val might have remained, if not for Walhurt, the Conqueror. One by one, he has taken the surrounding realms into his growing empire. I had no choice but to re- uh, that is, to recruit new allies to aid my people. That's where I'm come. You fled your life. So that's what Pan said. It, to a degree. More or less, yes. While my lord tastily gathered his valuables and guided his people out to safety, I alone remained to keep an eye on the Valmy's crisis. I was there as Roseanne was swallowed up by Emperor Walhurt's overwhelming forces. In the end, I too fled here to Regna Ferox, seeking asylum. <clears throat> to my great relief, I might add, eligible women are one of Roseanne's most precious natural resources. It would be a shame to waste any, even one who cuts off her lord and ma- 
as I was saying. Yes, yes, all right, it was only a jeep. Please, by all means, you may con- So begging your pardons, but perhaps it is time to cut this long story short. Walhart has conquered our continent and now seeks to conquer yours. Right. She claims the Valmy's fleet will be at the shores in a matter of days. We'll have soon enough her story. We'll know soon enough if her story proves true. Oh. I speak only what I know for true, good people. As does my lord, at least with respect to this matter. Oh. There's that wit of yours again. <laughs> That's wonderful, needling, chafing wit. Needling, yeah. Hmm. I believe you both. Basilea, we must secure your ports as soon as possible. Here. You should know that Valm has the strongest cavalry in the world. You will want to station troops of experience fighting mounted troops. <sighs> Why, Virion, are you volunteering? Maybe. He did help fight with us two years ago. Ah, neat. But what was that down here? Like, I, oh, I, I guess it just, like, uh, opened up as a shop, I think. Because, yeah, chapter 11, iron, fire, wind, nothing really new. Huh. Yep, and Port Ferox. So first things first, barracks. And then inventory. <laughs> One event has happened. Interesting. Yeah, they were together in the last fight. Why so chipper? Did you make a new friend? Actually, I just got some hot new items in. Are you in a spending mood? And nothing happened. Support. Frederick and Olivia. Uh, uh, Frederick? Yes. Yes, m'lady. How may I be of service? Well, well, see, I was wondering, and this may be an odd question, but, well, what do you think of me? Well. Think of you, m'lady. <clears throat> Well, you are flexible of limb and move with an economy of motion. You have the qualities of a superior fencer. I would recommend a light rapier to start. No, no I'm not talking about being a soldier. What I mean is, what do you think of me as a woman? Right. Do I find you attractive? Is that your meaning? Yes. I suppose so, yes. No. Mm, a difficult question, if I may speak bluntly. I had not thought of you in such terms before, and so cannot provide a meaningful answer. Oh, oh that's just what he said. Explain. Who? Uh. Con Basileo. I skipped because I'm a fool. I guess I just don't have any appeal for older men. My dance teacher once told me I had to learn how to captivate someone, otherwise no one would believe my performance. I see. So your interest was professional rather than personal. I see. While I'm sure you are blessed with many charms, they are sadly lost upon me. I'm sorry I could not be more encouraging. Now, if you'll excuse me. <sighs> uh, yes, thanks, I guess. Well, that's kind of a almost depressing interaction. <laughs> Now to inventory. We need to give that Billy D. But now that he's ranked up, we should give him a very good sword. A steel sword backup. Let's see, Frederick Great Knight. Put that away, put that away, put that away. Got eleven sword. We will give you the new Dragonstone, so you can do things. So we can actually like level you up and stuff. We should probably also give you a magic. We'll give you fire. Fire is a nice starter magic. God, we have so many people to. How many like diddly dees do we have? We have three. Master Seals and three Second Seals. Because I definitely want to give one Master Seal to Donald, one to Pan, one to Nawi, unless... Because you'll also probably be like a a 30 leveler. But there's so many I need to... Like, maybe we could Second Seal some people, but I'm not sure how like good that would be. Have You are a blessing. Oh, first things lady. first. We will... Sell our big bullions. And now we will buy into our convoy. Yes, Master Seal. Yes, Second Seal. Thank you. Hmm. 
Hmm. A battle in Yolistol. We haven't been here in a while. Well, let's go ahead and do this one. Let's see, who do we want to bring in? Because let's see. We'll still pair you together. I'm gonna still want to level up Varian. Hmm. Trying to think who I want to bring in for this one. It's a low, like, count, but definitely Naoi, yeah. I think that will do. And we'll try to level up Donnie, Naoi, and Pan. Well, first also, I need to take a look at the map. So we're split up. That's good to know. They're together. That should work well. Hmm. Yeah, you can pair together... And I guess we'll pair you two together so that you can work better. And then Gregor will be on his own. Unless I'm missing. Well, I think that should do good. He's there. Put Gregor here. I'll throw you up here. I've offered up a few prayers for our safety. Good for you. And we'll have Stall be. And let's go. find a risen, like, grinding spot to try and, like, level up some other people. But I'm really liking Fire Emblem. It's such a fun time. I love it. Rally? I wonder what that is. Smack this man down. Try to stab with a javelin, but now you get drop kicked. Just leveling her up as well as increasing their affinity. She's just good. Now let's see. We need to level up your lancing. Steel lance attack. love this game. It's so good. I wonder how fates will compare once we get to it. Let's see. Can you fight this guy to the death, Gregor? You cannot. Well, let's go do that anyway. Well, never mind. You'll kill him. Good. Is challenge? You don't want to challenge, Gregor. None of us want to challenge here. Well, let's see. If we went to attack, we could kill you. Get jump attacked by an archer. We have extra dragon stone now. Let's start blasting. He can stab wounded enemies too. That's cute. What a team. Ooh, Wormsbane. 
We'll have to look at that skill. You stab Gregor! Gregor, stab back! You picked the worst person to attack there. Literally. I think he does the most damage to you in this situation. You are going to be obliterated. I think that is our first triple digit attack. And it was from a suicide from Arisen. Now you can go ahead and knock this guy down. Gregor is to kill. We could charge back so that we can, like, choose who gets to kill you. But first, what's Wormsbane? Allows unit to, and mana keep form to deal bonus damage to dragons. Neat. Very neat. I'm just deciding... Hmm. Because... Kill him. He's the boss. What about you? Wouldn't kill. And I say let's steal Lance this guy. If he doesn't die, we'll give the kill to Naui. Then we'll see if Sully can run up and get the sparkly before the end of the match. And a level up for Sully, no matter what. Huzzah. And level weapon A. Then again, we could also give it to Donal. Let's give it to Donal. Because getting him to level 30, that would be choice. What do we need to level up? Yep, spear. Spear this man. No damage for you, fool. And stall levels up. Huzzah. And you know what? We'll just go ahead and obliterate this guy. Be gone. <sighs> and almost a level. So there's probably a threshold. You do no damage, and now you die. Should Frederick ever decide to attack? And this Risen has decided to commit suicide. Goodbye. I don't think Sully is going to get to the sparkly before all this is over. Like, maybe if we waited for them to attack us and not attack any of them, we would have bought an extra turn. Good job, Libra. If only the dropkick, like, dropped them off of the, the ledge there. That would have been amazing. One turn away. I would say give it to you. Although I think we're running now low on your beast stone that we got the last story chapter. Yep. Kind of running low. My lord. My lord. Hello, my lord. And of course, well, first thing first, support. 
I like their dynamic. I also liked Pan with Long Ku, but I just like their dynamic a bit more. We'll save, maybe. <laughs> Plausible deniability. But let's, yeah, sure, go ahead. <clears throat> Pan, there is a matter of import that I would discuss with you. Might I speak your business? Yes. Very well. I would like to ask only that you listen and give me a fair chance, and that you accept this ring. <laughs> um, uh, Pan, I thank you for accepting the ring, but, um, have you nothing to say? Yes. You asked me to listen. Oh, of all the times to start doing if, as you're asked. Hmm. Come again? No. N never mind. I retract my prior request for listening. Please, speak your mind. Be frank. Well. I feel like leaping across a mountain range. Yes. Is it safe to assume that means you're happy? <laughs> That's not it. Something greater. I suspect this is bliss. <laughs> well... I'm blissful to hear it, and relieved. You. What made you think to give me this? Big Greed, I fear. I succumbed to my baser inclinations. When presented with your brilliant light, I knew I had to have it all to myself. Thank you. That's quite the desire, to have driven a man of the cloth to fall from grace. Perhaps I should be the one thanking your gods and your exalt. We can do this. Mostly I feel like thanking you, Pan. <laughs> <laughs> You've done pretty well yourself. I like them. They're adorable in their own kind of stilted, weird way. I love them. I love the character interactions for the most part. Even if, like, like even, like, Gaius and Pan had a, a fun time. Now, let's see. Who do we want to send in? I'll maybe take Gregor out. Sorry, Libra, but also bring you out. And maybe bring you out... Uh... Yeah, because I doubt we'll get any, like, relevant grinding out of you until we can, like, find another beast stone or, gr like, gr like a... Yeah, that would be nice if there was, like, a grind section to be able to get one. Get more. And I guess you, in case there is the opportunity... I guess bring Rick in, if, in case we can... I guess we could bring Gregor and he can die more. Longku, I say. Longku. Right. Lots of diddly dee 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 dees. So, what I might do is. Hmm. It doesn't really matter all that much because we'll have plenty of time to set up our defensive line. up people hmm. stall likes to die a lot so we'll do that and uh, that makes Mirabel alone works for me hmm. we'll put him in danger so that it is possible for her to get some stuff in. And like, maybe other ranged attackers will do stuff or something. Because maybe this will give us a chance to really heal up, or like, level up Maribel, maybe. Come on, come attack the boy. You have chosen the- you literally could have just stood right next to him and you wouldn't have died, but now you die. You are a fool. And plus this allows him to level up some. I will accept this! Damn it! Oh, why does he get hit? Ah, that just means that we get to heal him later. And a level up for Virion. And of course... Oh, because he didn't take damage, that's right. Uh, what we will quickly do is turn off, and uh, just have things keep going. Damn it. 
and then we'll just decide how to do things. Damn it. And none of them have decided to use the side road. Come on, you have the chance to hit him. Come on. I know you have the chance to hit him. It's not like a 0% chance. You can hit him, come on. Damn it. I guess while we wait, we'll attack you. So at least maybe other people can have things happen. Maybe. And I guess more people can die at Virion's blade. Why would you attack him? Virion is becoming unstoppable. And I guess while we do this, we'll go ahead and, I guess, get this out of the way so that he can at least level up. Damn it. You can hit him! We know that you can! Hit him already! Hit him! Hit him! I know that you can! You had a hit percent chance! There was damage chance! There was damage chances! Like... Maybe if I... Like... Swapped it around, maybe the chance will be better? Never mind, he committed suicide. Oh, never mind, that's actually much... Not much better, but... Let's see. Okay, I need to turn back on the animations just to see. What is the hit percent chance? 24, and he can do damage. Is this when he get a hit? Damn it, that would have been hilarious. Okay, then we'll put things back, and now let us see what the hit percent chance is with Frederick. 26, and more damage. Over one-fourth a chance to hit, and he just keeps missing. I guess that's at least nice to know that the chances are on my side. Like a reverse. And it keeps defaulting to Donnie again. I wonder why. One, one fourth chance. I'm just here to try and level up just a little bit. I wonder if there's a way to send like a unit in with no weapons. More than likely, the only way to do that would be to, like, send them out with a weapon that's about to break. And that's, like, the most that I can think of how to do that. Unless you literally can just take away all their weapons. Your avoid is too great. What if I moved everyone away? Like, maybe that will give him less chance. Maybe that will increase his hit chance. Come on. Come on. This is the kind of thing that I should do on my own time. Grinding characters. But the opportunity presented itself. And plus, I think it might be slightly amusing for people to see the links that I'll go to. To try and do things. I am not a normal person. I'm built wrong. I find the most efficient way to do very stupid stuff like this. It's not even efficient. It's more like, here's an opportunity to do like one small little weird thing. And I'm gonna do it. And you know what? We're actually going to separate so that there's, like, maybe even less chance. Oh, no. That almost scared me. I don't think he should attack. I don't think that it should actually do something. I don't think that Varian could, like, counter on his behalf, because I don't think that's ever happened. It would be kind of neat if, like... A ranged character who is by your side could counterattack for the sake of a 
non like a uh, ranged character i think that might be neat as a possibility but i understand why they wouldn't do that because then the go-to meta would be like place a mage and a ranged person in every single like melee units like vicinity at all times so maybe you like limited just to like a specific type of ranged class like, that might be a neat niche for a class to have. I am the secondary stand by the side of a melee unit ranged character. I think that might be cool. I wonder if there's something wrong with me. Where my desire to see numbers go up overrides my common senses. We'll get Maribel. We're already at... We'll do one more if we can. If possible. Unless it becomes unbearable. We will just uh, try to level up Maribel or get close to level 18. And then maybe we can make her into a mounted war cleric. Of which then I might actually use her and... Alyssa more. Because then they'll be slightly less likely to just die or be dead weight. The Fire Emblem experience when you have brain worms that tell you level up your units in the most clunky fashion. You'd think that, like... Something like a magic diddly dee like this would like use up its Bobbity Ba Even if it misses. Come on, little magic man, we're rooting for you. Yeah, there you go, little magic man. There you go. One more mend, and uh, we'll be at 18. Higgledy biggledy. I wonder if there's somebody out there who's played Awakening and got utterly shafted in the, like, shop spawn rate when it comes to like the master seals and the second seals. Like, there has to be somebody who played the game and they only got, like, the mandatory main spawned master seal drops. Come on, little magic man. You can hit the big burly armored man on an armored horse. Damn it, Virion. That's not what we wanted. We want him to hurt. We want him to have pain. If I really wanted, I could also, like, go ahead, smack him. And a level up for Virion. Please avert your gaze. I'm worried that if I, like, used Naoi to attack this guy, the mage will go, I'm now going to attack Naoi, because the mage is... The AI in this game can be so freaking dumb sometimes. But with that, I do believe she is 18 now, level 18. And I'll do the last two levels grinding elsewhere so that we don't have to suffer as much. But okie dokie. Blast this guy away. Get a bit more experience. Have now we blast this guy from across the river. But I guess what we'll do is we'll wait one more. You're an amusing man. Another another thing that's kind of saddening if you do it this way 
without the battle animations, you don't hear the characters say things. Max Rickon. Hmm. Eh, we'll try and max out him as well. Get closer. My lore. And support, Frederick and Mirabel. Ah. Hmm. Yes. Ah, Mirabel. I hope you are well. well. Yes, thank you, Frederick. It's good that you're here. I wanted to talk to you. Is it true what they say? That you're a professionally trained steward? What? A steward? Gracious, no. I wouldn't have a clue about such work. I'm a knight, milady. Really? Oh, that's not what I heard, but I suppose rumors have a way of... Uh, what are you doing? Ah. I'm laying out Pris Princess Lissa's garments for the morrow. Clearly. That seems like something a steward might do, no. I suppose, but I only do so if I have spare time after killing and such. And what will you do after you finish laying out these garments? Well. I shall check on dinner preparations and then plan tomorrow's menu. What? You are a steward. No. My good lady, while some of my duties may resemble those of a steward, I assure you, I have spent a lifetime in noble houses and you, sir, are a steward. Serving tea, dusting china, polishing the good silver. You're a most definitely a... I am not a steward! I just like things to be neat and tidy. <laughs> well, you're terribly good at it. So perhaps you would come to my manor and instruct my staff. Explain. My lady, I don't have... I don't think... Yes. Frankly, it's impossible to get good help these days. Our head steward is so old and he's off with gout nearly every other day. Now, we don't want to work the poor man to death. Just think of the scandal. But a house can't maintain itself, and what will we do if it, when he kicks the bucket? Right. Your sympathy is touching. Clearly. Eventually, yes, we'll have to put out our poor, <laughs> put our poor old steward out to pasture. But I would consider it a personal favor if you trained our young staff in the interim. I'm sure there are many things you could teach them. This is just until we have a new man in place, of course. Right. My lady, for the last time, I am a knight. I am not, nor have I ever been a stu. No. Fine, then just show them how to tidy up or whatever it is you do around here. You teach recruits how to fight, yes? This is the same, except you fight filth. Oh, well, yes, it's true that I help instruct the younger stu shepherds, but they are the best and brightest of the realm. I merely offer advice. Really? Oh, good heavens, you couldn't possibly make this any more complicated. Fine, then, why don't you teach me so I can teach them? What? Teach you, milady. <laughs> if nothing, if... If I'm nothing if not best and bright, so yes, you shall teach me tidiness. And once I've learned your secrets, I can put our manor back into order myself. <sighs> well, I suppose that is acceptable. That is amusing. And then if they got married, they would literally... <laughs> he would basically come and do that anyway. That amuses me. But... Blah, blah, blah. There's so much I have to do. I have so much grinding to do. How many of the things do we have now? Second seal, we have four still, which is decent, but we have so many people! So much grinding to do! And dear god, Donnie is a monster. But I do believe that that shall be that for now. We've been going for about two hours. We did a lot of fighting Risen, and we did chapter... 11 and and then i find it funny that they're just like and then the people demanded that crom get married and i just wonder like like obviously that's the point that where the flag is flipped so that like the person who is like highest i assume that's actually a thing actually come to think of it is it possible for crom to get married to somebody without reaching s rank with them in the affinity support stuff. Or like, is it a time limit where you have to get to S the S rank? Or lest ye be a fool and like, who would he marry if, that's the thing, who would he marry if he didn't interact with any of the female units? Maybe he, maybe the thing would change, but no, Lucina has to be born. Ah. Interesting. Things to think about. But yes, I will, of course, do more grinding to try and, like... I doubt Master Seals appear in Risen fights, but I'll try to level up Maribel. I'll try to level up Muriel. I'll try to level up Donnie 
and Nawi. I just need to do things. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know. I, I want, like, my main army people, the ones that I like to be advanced up. So maybe skip over Vike if I can afford it. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hopefully next time more cool things will happen. And I, I want to be able to buy Beast Stones. And maybe Dragon Stones. That would be nice. Where do... Where would the... How did those... Like, why was that one guy, Mustafa... Have, why did he have a beast stone on him? And why did Gangrel have a, a dragon stone on And why exactly? Like, how long is this game? Because we killed Gangrel, but now a new foe is rising over the horizon. Imarin died. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, if you liked what you saw, I have two YouTube channels. The edited content YouTube channel that I swear content is coming to eventually. Called Neon Icy Wings. Where, like, essays, reviews, stuff like that. Edited, scripted content goes there. And then, if you like gaming content, like this, Let's Play streams, then you can go to my live stream and VOD YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. Where I stream games live, as well as upload gameplay of both the streams and other such stuff. So if you want to go and look back on the games that I've played in the past, like Undertale, Mass Effect Trilogy, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, the Ace Attorney Trilogy, all those games, you can watch them and catch me play these games live. But if you prefer uh, Twitch to, your, to be your live stream site of preference, then you can catch me on twitch.tv slash neonicywings. Then, if you want other such things from me, like art, like the little character in the corner, you can see art that I draw posted to various sites, like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Pillowfort, Inkblot, so many sites. Tumblr, I forget if I said that or not. And direct links to all of those can be found through my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings. And the link itself to the link tree can be found in descriptions, bios, and link places of various sites. And then, also in my link tree is links to my writing, if that is your diddly d, as well as a link to my Patreon, so people who are kind can throw dollary dues my way to ease the suffering evils of the world. There's a madman who said that millennials should stop buying avocado toast, who now wants a 50% increase to unemployment so that the arrogant workers can die. We live in a hell world and the lamest dystopia. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.